Hey everybody, your old pal Eddie Stevens here from Pico Rivera, California, east of East LA. And you're gonna, if you watch all my videos, rather, you're gonna see that I'm in the same outfit as another Harley Benton video that's coming around out around the same time. It's because I have children, and I have to knock these out when I have the chance. But I want to get this out for you guys, for sure. So this is the second of the two Harley Bentons that I just recently received. And this is the Harley Benton PJ5 HTR Deluxe Series. Okay? Not, not a bad-looking base there, huh? Not a bad. It's PJ. It is passive. So no battery on the back. Look at that nice red color, though, huh? That sure is pretty there. Four bolts on with that classic fender style plate. And if you're wondering what the specs on this, I'll get this out of the way now because I know a lot of guys want to know. It is an alder body, which I'm usually not a fan of. I'm usually an ash guy, but I really wanted to pass a PJ from these guys. It is a maple C-shaped neck. Um, definitely not for the faint of heart. Uh, it's not a baseball bag, but yeah, you've got to be able to handle a good size neck. It, is, it says that it's a Rose Acer fretboard. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Rose Acer is what they're calling Rosewood now, so they don't get in trouble because Rosewood is outlawed in a lot of countries. Uh, so Rose Acer fretboard. 20 frets, 34 inches, 45 millimeter nut. And this color is the Hot Rod Trans Red. So Hot Rod Trans Red, I believe, is what the HTR is for in the model name. Deluxe series, I don't know what that's about uh, because... This base was merely $127 US. So, yeah, very, very, very inexpensive base. Uh, I will be brutally honest and say that initially I had to, I, like all my bases, I had my Luthier go through it, but he had to do an entire shielding of the inner cavity where all the electronics is. There was somewhat of a buzz issue. Um, and it's still not 100% gone in all cases, but it's definitely doable now and usable now uh so i had him do some shielding so keep that in mind he did do a fret level and crowning for me uh just because he knows me i didn't think it was absolutely necessary but my luthier likes to take care of me so shout out to dave roberts from south orange county uh for taking care of that for me and he did have to do some nut work again because he knows me and he likes me to be very comfortable so i keep going back to him good cu customer service um Again, not always entirely necessary, depending on your application. It does have a string tree that covers the A and D string there, which is uh, interesting, but I can't imagine how they'd fit anything else up there. So that's cool. Tuners are solid. Um, PJ, Roswell PJ pickups. Roswell is the brand they use, I assume, like a house brand of sorts. Old school style bridge, but not bad. Not separating off the body at all. It is only top load. You cannot go through the body. Um, this is a $127 base, so you can't complain about much. Simple, passive bass controlling, volume for the P, volume for the J, master tone for passive tone, however you want to call it. Jack is there on the plate. And all in all, solid bass. So I'm going to do this where I play it straight through a DI uh, into my mixer flat. No big deal. I will say this is a much lower output bass. Uh, than their active lines, because I have two active Harley Bentons, and they are ballsy, 100%, you get where you got to be careful. This one is much lower in volume, very easy to accommodate, drive up the gain on your amp or your volume or do it in post or whatever you want to do, um, but just know that it's a lower output, so be prepared for that. Uh, a lot of guys will see this as a mod base. Uh, I'm not a modder myself. The one time I tried, I invested a lot of money and was never happy, so... To each their own, right? Okay, so I'm going to do both pickups up, tone all the way out, play a little bit, and then we'll switch around some stuff and see what you think, all right? Not as a bad sounding B string for a passive five. Uh, you might have heard a slight buzz in there, but like I told you, it didn't get rid of all of it. Uh, some, and I do believe it's from the J single coil pickup, which is to be expected. Uh, so I may, may I really don't want to mod anymore, but I may swap out for a noiseless pickup. Just saying, not a big deal though. Okay, I'm gonna do just the P pickup with the tone all the way out. 
do, do a little bit of Motown now. Grapevine. I haven't done that since high school. Holy cow. I'm going to go tone halfway back on that P pickup. I'm going to take the tone all the way out. So I did completely, completely, completely mellow it out. That's what it's supposed to do. I do like the halfway tone uh, setting on this one. Usually I don't like to do that, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to take the P out, do just a J, tone all the way out. Halfway tone. No tone. So not a bad sounding J pickup on its own either. I'm going to go both pickups all the way out, tone all the way out, and let's do a little slap because I know you want to hear that. So not a bad slap tone, slap tone at all. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let's do a halfway back little slap. I like it all the way out. If you're going to slap, if you're going to snap, let it slap and snap. So I'm going to do something I did in one of the other Harley Benton videos that I'm about to release as well, where I switch it from a DI to go into an amplifier head and taking the XLR out of that. Again, we may run into some buzz on this because of electricity in my home but as you heard through the di it was relatively clean so let's do that old switcheroo and see what it sounds like all right we are all switched out so now i'm in the amp it's a ginsman uh, shuttle 6.0 flat but i want you to hear the difference of it going through an amp <laughs> That was all the way up tone all the way up. That sounded really good. Like I actually really dig that tone. Let's do just a P pickup, tone all the way up. Now you did hear a slight buzz in there, right? As soon as I took the jazz out, it's clean. So that's why I say it has to do with the single coil jazz pickup. So you probably would have to swap that out if you want complete clean, okay? <laughs> Halfway tone on the P. So the P on its own with the tone all the way out was a really hip t uh, tone to me. I really like that a lot. I'm going to hit the jazz pickup tone all the way up. And there's that very, very slight buzz that you actually have to listen for. Uh, you can always put a gate on it. If, you're, if you put a gate on, a slight gate on it to get rid of it, and while you're playing, nobody's going to hear it. Guaranteed. So if you're a live player, this is still probably going to be okay. Here's the jazz pickup tone all the way out. Halfway 
its own. It's on all the way out. Yeah, so there you go. Now you heard it like that. Now, I am going to do something I never really do in these videos, and I'm going to play this bass with a little bit of pick because I do think this could be a bass that could be used on those types of gigs. By the power of recording, I found a pick. Lovely, lovely. So here's a, here's a Smith's bass line because when I play with my band, These Handsome Devils, I'm generally on a pick because Andy Rourke was on a pick. So here you go. <laughs> Yeah, totally sounds good with a pick. Let's do just P pickup, totally out with pick. We'll do the same bass line. That's actually a lot closer to Andy's tone because he did use a P bass, uh, especially when they first started. Here is the jazz pickup, same bass line. Probably wouldn't do that. I would either do PJ or just P. But a great sounding bass, man. And with the price tag of $127 US, uh, yeah, you almost can't afford not to get this. This is a five string PJ. Uh, is a are, is modding in order? Um, if you're a modder, absolutely, because it's cheap enough that you can afford to do so. If you're not a modder like me, I don't think so. I you know I just had my guy do some shielding in there to get rid of most of the buzz, uh, change strings, of course. I use the Dunlop Super Brights by Marcus Miller, and I'm actually pretty happy with this. I could totally use this on a job on a gig. Uh, so this is one of those bases that is good for beginners, good for intermediates, could be used by a professional, um, like. I can try to consider myself, I guess, one. But, uh, yeah, so definitely usable bass. This is Harley Benton, the PJ5 HTR Deluxe Series. And I want to give a very short shout-out once again to Alex Drizos from the Kelly Ray Band for turning me on to Harley Benton. Now I have three, and he told me he actually just bought this one too. So shout-out to Alex. And, uh, yeah, all my uh, YouTube buddies out there, Alan Brown, Willie the Kid, Low End Lobster, uh, I know you're getting into that Benton trip right now, so this is a cool one to look at. All right, guys, it's eddiestevensmusic.com, eddie, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S, music.com. We hope to see you guys real soon. I'm going to hopefully start gigging when this pandemic is over, whenever that is, and then we can uh, get some more gear, all right, and show you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Blessings to you all, and we'll see you real soon.